What if I told you that we could get an AI agent to go to YouTube, make a search for a specific keyword, let's say Fortnite, then automatically go into each of these videos in the search result, click into them, extract the video's transcript, use the information from that text to generate a new article, automatically post that article on your website, and then embed the YouTube source in the middle of the article. This is a great automation to start getting extra traffic to your website. Let me show you how to do it. First, you're gonna head on over to youraiagent.com. Your AI Agent is a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. These are a bunch of automations that I'm building for the community. Enter your name, email address, password, and then click sign up. It's gonna drop you onto the settings page. And the first thing you need to do is connect your website. So right now we connect to blogger, ghost.org, hash node, your HubSpot blog, medium.com, Shopify, Webflow, wordpress.com, and wordpress.org. In this video, let's do a wordpress.org website. So we'll click on this tab. If you forget any of the instructions in this video, we have a button right here that says watch video. It will teach you how to connect your website. But I'm gonna go down to the application password method. First, we need to name our integration. I'm gonna call it westfrank.com. And for these next few things, I'm gonna hop on over to my WordPress dashboard. Okay, here I am in the WordPress dashboard. So the first thing I need is my URL, and it's usually shown in the top here. We don't need the HTTPS, and we don't need anything after the .com. So just this westfrank.com, let's copy it, and then paste it into the website URL input box. There we go. Next, we need a username and app password. But first, I'm gonna to go to settings and permalinks, and then make sure anything other than plain is selected. So you can do a custom post structure where it can hyperlink your blog post to your category and then the post name, or you can just do post name. Either one will work. I'm gonna select post name. Next, I'm gonna to go to users, add new user. I'm gonna call it new poster. You have to give an email. I always give a fake one here. And then for the role, you need to select editor, then click add new user. In that new user you just created, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and here we see something called application passwords. I'm gonna call it new poster, add new application password. We're gonna copy this key, paste it in here. The username was new poster, then click connect. And if everything is good, you're gonna get a notification that says your wordpress.org website is connected. So we can click OK. And if I scroll down on my connections page, I see the newest connection right here. Next, we're gonna to go to home. On the home page, we see all the AI agents that we currently offer. So give a look through all of these, see what would work for your business. In this video, we are talking about the new YouTube search to article. So it turns trending YouTube videos into engaging content for your website. Click start now. And now we can start building out this workflow. First, YouTube search to article turns your keywords into engaging website content by analyzing YouTube videos and creating a unique article based on the results. You can also embed a video directly into the article for a dynamic multimedia rich experience. It's perfect for blogs, SEO, and repurposing video insights into compelling content. The first thing you're gonna do is select your website from the drop-down box above. By default, I have the newest connection right here. Then we need to select our content scheduling. How often do you want to post articles? I'm gonna keep it at every 12 hours, and I'm gonna post on all days of the week. I'm gonna publish each of those articles. Next are the search keywords. This is what we're gonna search YouTube for. Let's say I'm a video game website. I'm gonna do Fortnite. Let's go Roblox, maybe Call of Duty. You can fill this input box with multiple search keywords and the AI agent is going to search YouTube for each of these and write articles about the videos that show in the search results. If you can't think of any keywords, you can always toggle this button, generate keywords with AI, type in an initial topic, let's say video games, click get keywords, and it will fill your input box with hundreds of related keywords. Next is the search settings. 
So how many results per search keyword do you want to write articles for? Now, a quick disclaimer. Unfortunately, we can't scrape the transcript from every single YouTube video. YouTube has a lot of safeguards in place to prevent this from happening. I guess they don't like bots. I don't know what they're doing here. So keep this result high. You can go up to 50. Let's do 40. This means that in a perfect world, if we search that first keyword Fortnite, it would take the top 40 video results. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, all the way down to 40. And for each of these videos, it would extract the transcript and then write an article about that video. But because YouTube blocks a lot of scrapes, you might only get 10 to 15 of these videos and it's gonna be random. You're not gonna know which ones you're gonna get. This is the best we can do right now. So keep this number high. And this next option includes source video in article. That's if you want to embed the YouTube video source. So the video that we scraped and put it into the article. Next is the title prompt. So it's a descriptive title that sets the focus of the content to be generated. By default, I give you a prompt and it says rephrase the video title into a unique engaging article title that stays true to the theme while offering a fresh and appealing perspective. So the data that we're including dynamically is the original video's title. Next is the agent prompt. So you get a max of 5,000 characters and this is gonna tell the AI agent how to write your articles. You can put anything in here. What language output do you want? How do you want the articles to be formatted? Do you want them optimized around a specific keyword? Do you want to mention your company? I'm giving you lots of characters, lots of options here. It's gonna make each article that is created on this platform completely unique. And the dynamic data that we're sending through is the video transcript and the title of the article. By default, you get something like you are an AI content creator tasked with generating unique, well-structured articles based on a provided YouTube video transcript and article title. I just say to analyze the transcript to extract key information, insights, and main ideas, then synthesize this content into a fresh, coherent, and engaging article tailored to the provided title. And make sure it's free from plagiarism, it's easy to read and tailored to the needs of the target audience. Next is the image prompt. So we generate one image with AI to put at the top of each article. You wanna treat this image prompt like a mid-journey prompt. So just give it a bunch of keywords to how you want the image to look. The dynamic data that we're sending in is the article's title, and we send that title into an AI agent to craft a nice image prompt, and then you add your keywords at the end. You can also choose your image model. We have a bunch of options right now, like Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large Turbo, Stable Diffusion 3 Medium, Stable Diffusion XL, and we also have Flux Schnell. I'm gonna select Flux. Next is Boilerplate Text. So this is text that goes at the end of each article. You can add your company details, contact info, anything that you want to be consistent across every article that's created. I'm gonna leave that blank for now. And then we have the categories and tag section for WordPress. All the categories that you create in your WordPress dashboard, they will show here. So I created uncategorized and video games. I'm gonna select video games here. And I made some example tags too. We'll just go Super Nintendo. Now I can click Start Agent. It's gonna take me to the workflows page where I see all of my active agents. I only have one running right now. This account is purely for testing. But if I click into the workflow, I can see what's currently going on with the agent. It's trying to scrape each video. It's saying that there's 39 videos remaining before moving to the next keyword because I originally selected 40 videos. You can change any of the settings here, add more keywords, remove them, change the search settings. Maybe you don't want to include the source video in the article anymore. You can change up your prompts, change your image model, or change the categories and tags. We're gonna wait for an article to be generated with this workflow, and then we're gonna check it out to see the output. All right, I was able to extract the transcript from one of the videos. Let's click on the link, and here it takes me to my WordPress website, and look at this Flux image. That's absolutely amazing. Can you guess the real Fort skin? It got close. Maybe in my next image prompt, I'm gonna say don't use words 
But these characters look like Fortnite characters. I'm pretty impressed. It's saying, unlocking the mystery, can you guess the real Fortnite skin? Join the 12 test challenge. Here's a full article about that video. And here it is embedded within the article. Your users can click on this video and watch it right inside and all the way down to the conclusion. If you want to try the YouTube search to article agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own AI agents and turn it into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.